You probably know that The Sims 4 Snowy Escape introduced new features such as skiing, snowboarding and rock climbing to the game. But the expansion pack also came with a whole lot of features that you might have not known about. Here are 5 things you probably didn't know about Snowy Escape. With the introduction of extreme sports, you might have guessed that one way to die in the expansion pack is in a mountain climbing accident. But did you also know that fending machines can be a cause of death in The Sims 4 Snowy Escape? We probably all know the feeling of getting that snack that you've already paid for stuck in the vending machine. And if your sim is a frequent vending machine user, expect them to also come across this situation. Getting your items stuck in the vending machine in The Sims 4 allows your sim to unlock the shake interaction, which as the word suggests, allows your sim to shake the vending machine to get that snack unstuck. Stuck. And while most of the time this ends up with your sim having their paid for item in their inventory, sometimes it also drives them to more extreme measures. Most of the time leading to injury and other times, well... If you're like me and you never play with the townies, you might not have realized that there are some festering issues in town. The three main families in The Sims 4 Snowy Escape are all connected to each other in one way or another. For example, Megumi's childhood sweetheart just moved back into town. Both are married, by the way. And Kiyoshi's crush on the granddaughter of the Nishidake family might be hindered by a feud happening between his dad and Kaori's grandfather. Next time you go into the game, it might be worth visiting some of these families to see if you can help them with their complicated love lives. If you have been up Mount Komorebi in a mountain climbing excursion, you might have already noticed the ability to explore and even woohoo in the caves on the way. But did you also know that Mount Komorebi has three hidden lots that you can build in? To unlock this feature, you first have to go on the mountain climbing excursion. Once you've reached the first level, make sure you enable free build by typing in bb.enable free build in the cheat menu. This will unlock the build icon in the top right corner, which will then automatically take you to the hidden lot, which is available on every single level of the mountain climbing excursion. Now do keep in mind that I do not recommend actively building on these lots. Your Sims will unfortunately not be able to live on Mount Komorebi, and it also might lock you out of the mountain climbing excursion while you're trying to build. But the cool thing about these lots is that you can display your previously build houses and even upload them to the gallery with a cool Mount Komorebi background. Now back down the mountain we go. Did you know that Sims can swim in the Wakaba River which is located near the bottom of the Wakaba neighborhood? Now this is only the second swimmable body of water that we have gotten in The Sims 4, the first one being in the Island Living expansion pack and it's definitely a cool new feature to be added to Snowy Escape. Now you probably know about the ability to go on hikes in The Sims 4 Snowy Escape. But did you also know that going on meditative hikes can lead to the ability to search emotions? Now going on one meditative hike does not give your sims superpowers suddenly, but it will make them be in a mindful state which will give your sim a plus 4 fine emotion. And now it's up to you to do even more mindful activities, such as painting, going to hot springs, or going on even more meditative hikes. And I mean a lot of hikes. So many hikes. All the hikes. And once you've done that, you might have reached a plus 10 fine emotion, at which point your sim will be able to search emotions. Which basically means you can choose from a menu of every single emotion available in the game and your sim will instantly get that emotion. And once you've done that, you have to do all the mindful activities all over again to be able to search emotions once again. Alright, those were the 5 things that you might have not known about Snowy Escape. Let me know in the comments if any of these features were new to you, and if you already knew about them, which ones are your favorites? That is all for today, thank you for watching and I will see you again soon.